and n cap is the normal unit vector to the plane which contain these two lines okay now we have to find the correct matches here hello students in this video we will discuss one question from je advanced 2024 and this is the question number 16 which says gamma is a real number okay such that these two line intersect each other for that gamma and r be the point of intersection okay of l1 and l2 o be the point 0 comma 0 comma 0 and n cap is the normal unit vector to the plane which contain these two lines okay now we have to find the correct matches here okay and for this your options are what your options are here you have to find the correct option for this question got it so sir let's start with this so you are given with two lines l1 and l2 okay and you know they intersect each other so let's say they intersect each other so it means for that point you have the same coordinates so first of all let's say this is some p and this is some lambda let's say okay let's say some lambda p and lambda okay so you can say general point here general point on l1 general point on l1 what is that general point on l1 is t minus 11 2t minus 2t minus what 2t minus 21 and 3t minus 29 yes and general point on l2 is what on l2 that point is 3 lambda minus 16 2 lambda minus 11 gamma lambda minus 4 now you know at the point of intersection these coordinates are same yes now just find the values equate them and find the values so sir when you equate you can say t minus 11 is equal to 3 lambda minus 16 2t minus 21 okay 2t minus 21 is equal to 2 lambda minus 11 and you can say 3t minus 29 is equal to gamma lambda minus 4 yes now simplify these two expressions okay when you simplify these two what you have so you can say from here you can say t minus 3 lambda is equal to minus 5 and from here you can say 2t minus 2 lambda is equal to 10 so t minus lambda is equal to 5 yes when you simplify these two just subtract this one so minus 2 lambda is equal to minus 10 so from here you can say lambda is equal to 5 if you are putting lambda is 5 here so t will be what t will be 10 yes so now you have the value of t and lambda in this case so when you put here so you can say that value will be what put t as 10 so this is 30 minus 29 which is 1 and this one is what 5 gamma minus 4 yes so after simplification you can say gamma will be what gamma will be 1 okay gamma will be 1 and point of intersection is what if you find the point of intersection so you can say sir point of intersection is put two here so you can say point of intersection that is r1 yes that point is what that point is put t is equal to 10 so you will get minus 1 minus 1 and 1 yes that is the point r1 got it so now we have gamma as 1 and r1 okay if you have r1 so you can find o r1 vector o r1 vector o r1 vector is what o r1 vector that is sir minus i minus j plus k cap yes o r1 vector is clear minus i minus j plus k okay minus i minus j plus k cap so sir what we have now if you observe your options you can say gamma is 1 gamma is 1 yes gamma is 1 so it means for gamma that is 1 so for p you have third one yes and for or1 that is minus i minus j plus k <coughs> yes minus i minus j plus k that is minus i minus j plus k which is 1 got it so these two are clear now next one is sir you have to find the possible value of n cap now sir n cap is what n cap is the plane now sir 
you can say n cap is what n cap is the unit normal vector to the plane containing l1 and l2 yes so what you have it means you have some plane which contains l1 and l2 so you know let's say this line is l1 okay this line is l1 so l1 is parallel to what 1 2 3 means i cap plus 2j plus 3k cap yes so it means that is parallel to what parallel to i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap yes and you have one more line that is l2 which is parallel to what which is parallel to which is parallel to sir 3i plus 2j and gamma is 1 so k cap yes so you can say 3i plus 2j plus k cap yes now sir you want the unit vector perpendicular to this plane so you can say sir unit vector perpendicular to this plane we can find using the cross product of these two n vector is what which is the normal vector that is cross product of i plus 2j plus 3k okay 2j plus 3k cross with 3i plus 2j plus k cap yes or no now find the cross product so you can say n vector is equal to i j k that is 1 2 3 1 2 3 3 2 1 yes when you simplify you can say 2 minus 6 2 minus 6 minus 4i yes and this is 1 minus 9 minus 8 and minus minus plus 8j cap yes and 2 minus 6 again 2 minus 6 is minus 4k cap so you can say uh, you can take minus 4 common so you left with i minus 2j plus k okay now you want unit vector so you can divide with the magnitude of this so you can say n vector can be written like this also minus 4 and the magnitude of this one is what under root 1 square plus square of minus 2 plus 1 square which is 6 yes root 6 so you can say that is root 6 and this is i cap okay so you can take root 6 comma so you can say minus 4 root 6 into i cap by root 6 minus 2j cap by root 6 plus k cap by root 6 yes so you can say a unit normal vector to the plane containing these two line is what the possible value one of the possible value you can say that is this one okay so i am writing here that n cap is equal to i by root 6 minus 2j by root 6 plus k by root 6 yes that is your n cap so n cap now check your option n cap possible value of n cap 1 by root 6 i cap minus 2 by root 6 plus 1 by root 6 yes 1 by root 6 minus 2 by root 6 1 by root 6 got it so it means 4 is the correct one so pqr are 3 4 and 1 now what about s s is what s is the possible value of or1 dot n cap or1 we have or1 yes we have or1 and now we have to take the dot product with n cap so sir or1 dot n cap is equal to minus i cap minus j plus k dot i by root 6 minus 2j by root 6 plus k by root 6 yes so you can say that is what minus 1 by root 6 plus 2 by root 6 and plus 1 by root 6 okay you can cancel this so value is 4 by 6 whole root and this value is 2 by 3 whole root so you can say possible value of or1 vector dot n cap is 2 by 3 root so which one is here 2 by 3 root so it means fifth is here yes fifth is here so final answer is what final answer is sir p 3 q 4 r 1 s 5 so 3 4 1 5 3 4 1 5 3 4 1 3 4 1 5 so it means 3, 4, 1, 5. So C is the correct answer. Okay. 
so for this question c is the correct answer got it okay then so that's enough for this video and in the next video we will discuss uh, some more pyqs on your uh, j advanced till then thank you everyone bye bye